Hi Leos, how are you? Long time no see ya. Uh, so sorry I was gone for so long, but um, I'm back now and I'm here to do your July reading. A little late, but that's okay. I think you can still get a lot of it, a lot out of it. See, I'm already feeling the Mercury retrograde. I'm sorry my words, it's, it's, oh my god. Yeah, I think I'm really gonna feel the Mercury retrograde this, this month and this time around. But, um, so I shuffled your card. I'm gonna give them a couple more shuffles and see uh, to get them ready for your reading. And uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna tell you that I'm gonna do a little quicker reading uh, to, uh, this time, this month. So um, you can watch it, you know, whatever. So uh, you can get on with other things because I'm sure you're gonna have a busy, busy month. Um, but I'm gonna do um, a couple of cards for the first part of the month and a couple of cards for the second part of the month. And I'll pull an oracle card for your love life specifically, okay? So let's start the O's. So we have King of Swords. Yeah, Mercury Retrograde. And I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not surprised because Mercury Retrograde is in your sign, in the sign of Leo. And also you have, uh, what was the other sign that's written in Mark? Um, yeah, Mercury is Retrograde in your sign. So... This is the has to do with clarity, has to do with cutting. Oh, look, look, look what we got. I love this. Um, this is beautiful, Leo. I think this is this is going to be an amazing month for you. Um, so I'm going to start with the first because we have the King of Swords. So beginning of the month, you start. I think you're going to be feeling the shadows um, period of the retrograde when a um, couple of days before and a couple of days after the end of the retrograde. Um, people feel the uh, influence and the energy of it a little bit more than some others. And you, Leo, specifically, you will definitely feel it. You're going to start the month with a little bit of a confusion, a little bit of um, not knowing what to do, what road to take, what decisions to do, you know, what path to go on, like what projects to start, um, what relationships to end or to begin. There's going to be still a lot of confusions and not only that, but I think there's going to be a lot of miscommunication. There's going to be a lot of frustration when it comes to uh, making plans, uh, booking things. But don't worry, we have the chariot following it. So even if he, there will be a little bit of setbacks, but things would still be moving forward for you. They're not. A, I don't see a lot of energy as being stuck. Stu um, stuck or blocked, especially having the Hermit in reverse. I think this is for you. It's like full on. If you get the green light and you get the go, you have, to, you know, and you're going to be in the go mode. You're going to be really out there and shining and it, you're going to be in your power, Leo. And this look, you got your card as well. This is going to be your month to shine, Leo. I think this is a month where you're going to accomplish a lot of things, even though you start the month with a little bit of like, uh, on like a little uh, wobbly footing. But to come, even my, I think the seventh, like look right after the beginning of the um, retrograde, I think you'd feel a little bit empowered. You're going to feel like you have the energy to move forward. You have the ability already. And I think for some of you, there's going to be a big travel month as well. But also, I think in a very busy, busy social life as well, there's going to be a lot happening a lot of uh, internal and external things that will come up for you that will really um, push your boundaries and really push your limits in the sense of like because everybody's going to want to be with you leo everybody's wanting will want a piece of you everybody will like there's you're going to have so many invites to parties there's a lot of opportunities to travel a lot of opportunities for uh, socializing and for businesses for uh, maybe not necessarily to make money just yet, but you it's the process of starting and laying the foundation. Now with the chariot, I also have to say, and I'm drawn to the black and white and then to the black here and the white here. I feel for some of you, um, there is a little bit of a um, risk of falling the trap of thinking black and white. Well, you will need to think a bit of a gray. Well, allow yourself room for flexibility. Allow yourself room for um change of course because the chariot right it's like so driven it's so empowering it they're so um determined to just go forward 
but sometimes and they're just so focused on just going forward that they miss what's around and you might miss some other opportunities that might be a little bit more worth it just because you're so like focused like just having that tunnel vision so really watch out for that this month especially in the beginning like until the 15th of the month because after the 15th we have or around the 16th we have a lunar another eclipse and it's a big one and i think it's going to be very impactful more than any other ones for you specifically i think for you it's going to bring a lot of things about um to do with your health related issues i think it's going to bring a lot of um questions about where you stand with certain people um where you want to move with certain people how you want to be uh, where your boundaries stand your the respect people have for you and the respect you have for others how do you um allow people to treat you but also it's about um excess and it's about um balance you know so it's it's either lack of but or excess but i see more lack more excess here than anything else because we have the temperance and we have the chariot it's like so it's, for me these two cards and then especially with the hermit in reverse again there's um a little bit of like that battle of you know like being too much out there like too outspoken too um you know like everywhere so it's, it's almost like uh your energy is just so big and so bright that you kind of almost lose sight of what's important and i think with the king of swords that's kind of like the reason why you're like so bright and so shiny <laughs> shiny right um but you get what i what i mean um but in the second part of the month i think it's gonna be really important for you to um conserve your energy to really um kind of like slow down a little bit right slow down your pace and instead of like really go 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 it's more about really uh preserving the energy for something that is better or for something that it's more worthwhile than extending yourself to everybody right because at one point or another the temperance is calling you out on really balancing yourself really um trying to find that right you know between eating out a lot or you know like cooking at home a little bit or drinking um here and then not drinking at other events or you know like having that balance because the more you push the body the more it's gonna let you let you know what it needs but it might not be at the right time or it might be um too late so i think for some of you i don't know why i'm getting this but for some of you, i think it's really what your health this month what you eat um what would you drink specifically because again because you're going to be in your in the social spotlight and you're going to have so many possibilities to be out there and to um, be around people and to be around gatherings with food and drinks um that i think you might be losing sight of um your body and how you feel so really really uh, i would really advise you to keep that in mind even though you're a leo and i can see this this is you know this is your card this is your month right to shine and you will come above it above all of the stuff that's going on in your life being with work being in relationships be with your relatives um you're gonna come on top of it because you are a strong person and we have the seventh and the eighth and then we have the ninth right so it's there's gonna be this progression of energy that's gonna happen from the seventh of the month sixth of the fifth till the 12th of the month or something like that um where there's going to be a lot of like go 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 and then you're going to be really you're going to be on cloud nine you're going to have that feeling that you're like the king of the world that you can do anything that you can achieve anything and then this is where the queen of swords i think comes in where it tells you like yes you know you are the king of the world you are the king of the jungle but don't lose don't lose sight of what's important and look how like see the uh how she's holding the butterfly or the butterflies lens right on the top, the edge of the sword i think for you it's going to be really really important to watch what you speak and how you speak at the end of the month um because in the beginning of the month you kind of like have a little bit of a distorted 
idea of what's going on or yourself or your own image and then at the end of the month you're kind of coming into your own you're coming into um really seeing things for what they are or if you're not this is the advice for you to do so because if you don't this temperance even though it's an upright for now it could be reversed it could be i think for some of you a lot of these cards the way i feel the messages that are coming through for some of you it's more like an invitation to embody these cards this month because there is a potential for you to lose track like i said that tunnel vision right to uh for what's important in love relationships um i think starting the month you're going to feel a little bit weird a little bit unsure about what's going on but you're still going to move forward uh if not with the new i don't see really like either commitment or not commitment um it's more about you being getting more in touch with yourself and being really stepping into who you are and stepping into your power this month but let me draw one more card what's the card it's funny because that was on the bottom of the the deck as well so this is the energy of you leaving the month and then stepping into the august so remember what i said if you don't watch your excesses you might regret them or you might things might fall out of balance you your body might, might, might tell you that hey by the way i need a little break so i think with the nine of cups in reverse i think you might have been partying too much and i think for some of you this is going to be about really that overindulgence or like that overeating or over drinking and it's going to really let itself known and and again because we have mercury retrograde right like we think we can do we think we're in the top of things but we have a little bit of distorted of view of things because there's this fog the mercury retrograde puts on everybody um that you know like thoughts are not as clear words are not as clear so really really balance yourself really really balance yourself don't have that tunnel vision and don't get too stubborn about one one thing you are the king of the jungle and you are you are very powerful this month and there are a lot of people are going to be drawn to you um so much and that i think that's where the excess is coming from because everybody's want will want a piece of you this month it could be that you will be um getting a lot of invitations maybe like even for interviews right um so if you're if you're looking for a job really watch for what you um how you present yourself don't be overly cocky but be confident and also um be a little flexible i think flexibility this month it's also important where it's like allow yourself to say no to some to something allow yourself to say you had enough allow yourself to say no to maybe invitations that you know that you might be there's a risk of you over drinking or overeating or if um you sure that you can handle those excesses um say yes but be mindful of how uh, be mindful of your body okay but and let me pull an oracle card for your love life specifically and see let's see what you get okay codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life what did i tell you <laughs> leo um so i think here codependency it's not as much i think it's more about it's that so like when you go out and you feel on top of the world right but when you drink you feel even more powerful you even feel more you know like confident right so i feel like really watch where it's like you're not drinking for the wrong reasons or you're not eating just because to um you know fit in with the crowd because it's not you you're the king of the jungle no but you don't have to fit in you are the king of the jungle so you rule the jungle you know what i mean so don't fall prey to um things that just might be like little short fixes and then fast fixes because you are the you are the king or the queen right depending on your male or female um and you are so strong and powerful and confident that you can overcome anything so you don't need these short fixes the quick fix fixes because 
you will have the power and the strength you also have the knowledge to uh, do what's right you do it's just a matter of whether you want to do it or not so this month it's more about you knowing what's right knowing when to stop knowing when to say no knowing when to say yes and um knowing how to shine but shine in like a healthy positive way that you are taking care of yourself but also having fun right and um if i'm gonna go if i'm gonna talk about relationships specifically i think codependency and then i think this is where the excesses from earlier coming in um it's really you might have there might be a little bit of misunderstandings miscommunication frustrations because of the overdoing of something so that's it for now leo i wish you a great july have fun but really watch it you know don't go overboard with anything and if this reading resonated with you please like subscribe and share with anybody that you think that would uh, benefit from this reading and in the meantime i will say thank you for watching this video and i will see you next month okay that's it bye